guys, welcome back to my channel. Michael Trey here. Today we are doing a full face one brand using only e.l.f. products to create this green, um, really fun, smoky eye um, with pretty much a natural face. But if you want to see how we created this look and what I think of the whole brand of e.l.f. as one, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera to start this off just to conserve a little time. Um, we do have a brow routine tutorial, so it'll be linked down below or somewhere around the screen, so check it out. But I went ahead and went in with the e.l.f. brow pencil, and I actually really, really do like this. The spoolie's really nice, and it's like a pointed tip, and I like that versus like that angled pinky tip. So I really like this eyebrow pencil, so let's go ahead and get into eyes. Alright, for eyes, so I went ahead and picked up this e.l.f. Um, it's like an eye and face blush contouring, it's like the whole works. And it was only 14 bucks, so it comes with 50, wow, 50 color eyeshadows and then a face palette. And like I said, bronzers, blushes, all that good stuff. Alright guys, so when you take it out, it comes in this black compartment and you open it up and it has a huge mirror, which is really nice. And then the tray comes out and you have your 50 eye color shades and then the other tray with all your bronzers and blushes. Which is actually pretty nice and convenient for like client use. Um, I mean, these are pretty thin, so I imagine if you just drop this, you're probably going to shatter all these eyeshadows. So that kind of sucks, but otherwise, it, it's pretty nice. And then, like I said, the mirror is huge. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so looking at this palette, there's actually only 40 shades in here, which I was confused by. But then when you look at the contour and the blushes, there's 10 of those. So they actually mean 40 color eyes with 10 face palettes. So. There the first I'm going to take, I picked up a few e.l.f. brushes as well, so this is the blending brush. I'm going to pick up the white shade, it's like on the very bottom row, and um, apply this all over the lid. The next I'm going to go into, it's like an orangey kind of coral shade, and I'm just going to pop that in my transition just with a normal um, transition or fluffy crease brush. Okay, so working with that orange shade, I mean the pigment's okay, but it's actually not quite as pigmented as I was hoping. So I'm going to go into, it's like a dark chocolatey shade with the exact same brush and do the exact same thing, but just keep it a little bit tighter in the eyelet right here. Okay, so next I'm going to go in, I'm going to apply a green, this like, it's like an emerald green shimmer on the outer side of my um, eyelid, but I'm going to go ahead and prep with a little bit of concealer, just using one of my Morphe M432 brushes and cut this out a little bit and give a little bit more of like a base for the pigment to sit on. Okay, so working with that shade, it wasn't too bad. I don't know if I mentioned that there's like mattes and shimmers in here, and this green is like a shimmer, and it's not very shimmery. I mean, it's pretty, but <laughs> you really gotta build this thing. So there's a gold shimmer in here I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna pop that in my inner eyelid and give it like that kind of ombre transition to it. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set um, and just do a spritz on this brush just to um, help that pigment right in. Alright, next I'm going to go in with a Morphe M332 brush, it's kind of like a fluffy but a little bit more of a packing brush, and I'm going to take, wow, those won't fall out, I'm going to take one of these darker, there's like five black shades in here to be honest, they all look the same, um, so I'm just going to take one of these and just pop it on the outer ring a little bit to give a little depth. Alright, and then I'm just going to take a clean um, fluffy brush and just kind of blend any harsh lines or anything out with no product on it. All right, so this is one I pretty much complete, at least just the top half. I'm gonna go ahead and catch up with this one and then we'll get into the face. Okay guys, so both eyes are done. I was, <laughs> it took me a while, was struggling with this eye, we came back. So the palette itself is pretty, it's okay. I'm not gonna say it's the best. I mean, some of these shades have some pigment issues for sure. I feel like the shimmers aren't like really that shimmery, but like, it's not a horrible palette. Like I said, the whole thing, and it comes with all these blushes and bronzes, it's 14 bucks. So I mean, that's a pretty nice deal. I would obviously personally probably pick up my Morphe palette over this, but this is definitely something that I'll keep just to have around if I ever want something a little bit on the quicker side. So now moving into face, I'm gonna move in with my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I have actually used this before a couple times and I did like it, so I just repurchased it again. Alright, so next moving into foundation, I'm going to take this oil-free SPF um, foundation. I got two different shades. I have one that's in sand and one that's in um, porcelain. There's like maybe like five shades. There's a few different foundations, but for this one specifically that I like, they only have like five or six shades. So I'm going to need to mix these two to make mine. Um, and then I'm going to apply this using the e.l.f. Beauty 
sponge as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my Real Technique sponge because that sponge, I, most sponges don't work to be honest. These, this one in a Real Beauty Blender is like all I use. It's like way too hard. It's picking up the product. So let's use this one instead. All right, we're back. Foundation is done. I actually really do enjoy this foundation. It actually is kind of full coverage, and I think it's only six bucks. It does take a little longer blend, I've noticed, but if you take the time or you have the extra time to blend it out, it actually comes out to a really, really pretty finish. So next for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. concealer stick in the shade Ivory. Um, it just comes out as a stick like this. You guys know I'm so picky with concealers, so I am interested to see how this one goes. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out using a small, damp, real quick. All right, so concealer is down. That is, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I don't like the stick formula. It's pretty sheer. I need a really full coverage concealer for my under eyes. And like, I don't know if it shows on the camera, but when it's in person, it was like pink. Like it was like straight, like salmon, corally kind of pink. Um, and I, yeah, so I don't know. That wasn't really, that wasn't my fan of. So let's go ahead and move into translucent powder. I picked up this e.l.f. Um, sheer HD powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set under my eyes and everywhere else with this one. All right, so I applied this powder. The powder is pretty nice, actually. It seems to have really milled into the skin. When I use a damp beauty sponge, it kind of melted in like my normal Cody Airspun would. So that's really nice, but this concealer is just really throwing me off because it really was pretty damp orange. So like, I just look really like red right here when I normally just like will like look, you know, like really not like this. It's really throwing me off. So I'm hoping when we go into some bronzer and some blush, which we're gonna do right now, this will help maybe offset that concealer a little bit. So I went and check out this bronzer um, slash blush contour kit. It's actually really, really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do for blush is I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna stick with more of these pink ones. I might do half and half of those because I don't wanna put orange on this to make it more warm. And then I'm most likely probably gonna go in with these two for contour colors um, and slash bronzer shades. Next, I'm gonna take my normal nose contouring brush and go ahead and use the same shades and contour on my nose a little bit. Anyone see what I'm doing wrong? But really though, oh, I'm an idiot. That works. <laughs> All right, so I finished those two things, and it's going, I like the um, powders themselves. I think I'm gonna like it a lot more, but I'm not so orange and green, because this is like really offsetting it, so that's a little bite stand, I like it, but I like the formula, the color went down, it seemed really pretty, so um, I'll have to test this out some more when I know I look like my normal self. So next I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my under eye. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the, um, the warm transition we put right here underneath, and then smoke it out on the outer edges a little bit. All right, so that is now done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes off camera real fast. I do have the e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara with a pair of lashes. I got the e.l.f. Dramatic Lash Kit. Um, they honestly, no, no offense to them, but they look pretty fake. I mean, it's just like, you know, the quick little hairs that come out. So this definitely wouldn't be the typical um, lash that I would buy. Um, and then I also bought the e.l.f. Intense Eye, or Intense Ink Eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and wing this out a little bit and we'll be back and finish the rest of the face. All right, we're back. The lashes and everything is done. It's looking a lot better. I like it with the lashes on. Um, I really like this uh, eyeliner. You can see it's like a really long felt tip, which is my preference, and it was really easy to use. And the mascara was okay. The wand's a little different and it has this little ball on the end. I'm assuming it's just to be able to really like get in there and kind of get into these edges without needing to be like this. You can almost go in a little bit more like this. Um, it didn't do a whole lot, you know, like curling with a huge or volume or anything. It really just added the darkness and maybe a little bit more of a wispiness to it, um, but a pretty basic mascara. All right, so next we're going to move into lips. Um, the Walmart that I went to to get them, they didn't have a ton, honestly. So I took this e.l.f. Um, lipstick in the color Natural. It comes in, it's almost like a little crayon. So let's go ahead and apply this all over. All right, guys, the color is down. It's feeling pretty smooth. I actually like the way it feels. It's probably going to be like my first go-to shade for this look. 
um, but it's totally workable. I think the lipstick is nice. I like that it's a crayon because it's really easy to be able to outline and edge everything a little bit smoother than a regular lipstick. So I do like the formula for this. So let's move on to the last and my most favorite part, highlighting. So I went ahead and picked up this e.l.f. Um, Shimmer Highlighting Powder. Powder, Sorry, it's in the shade Starlight Glow. Um, I have tried, they have these little ones that are like domed. And I've heard so many people talk about them, but I bought them twice and it was like cardboard. Like there was no pigment. It was like, it was the worst thing ever. So I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Comment down below if you've tried those little domed highlighters and you love them and how you use it on a day to day because whatever I'm doing isn't working really well. So here's the shade right here. It looks like a very like kind of champagne-y gold type of shade. And it's actually a really good size pan with a mirror on it. So that's really cool. So I'm just going to ahead and apply this one of my um, thinner little highlighting brushes. All right, highlighter is down. Actually, I just have to say this is a pretty, pretty highlighter. It's um, more on the subtle side, which isn't bad at all. You know, my kind of highlighter is like extra, really bright, and that's not everyone's kind of look. So for a pretty natural and actually really pretty, still pretty glowy um, highlighter, this is really, really nice. And I like the pan it comes in. It's really easy to work with, and it's nice that it has a mirror on it. It's, it's just really convenient for traveling as well. All right, guys, and to finish off this look, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set and go ahead and set the whole entire face. All right guys, we're back and I pretty much finished everything. I'm actually pretty surprised. I do like quite a bit of this stuff and I have tried e.l.f. before and I actually have liked a lot of their stuff so I can't really say I'm too, too shocked. Um, but the only thing really that wasn't a huge winner for me was the eyeshadows, but everything else in the concealer, that was really bad. Don't forget the concealer. But everything else was honestly not too bad at all. It's definitely something I would keep in my day-to-day -day routine. It's really easy to go to. Um, and I mean, it's really affordable. It's one of the most affordable brands, I would say, you know, like Walmart. Um, I don't think they're at Target. I honestly don't know where else they are. They are at Target? Okay, so Walmart, Target, maybe CVS and Walgreens. Um, but they're, you know, really inexpensive. A full bottle of foundation, six bucks, and it's really good. You can't really beat that, you know? So, um, I would have to say this Elf One brand is approved. Alright guys, and getting into giveaways, this week's winner is... Congratulations, I'm so excited to get you your package. Thank you so much for entering and tuning in. Um, go ahead and leave me a message on Instagram, at Michael Trey, which will be linked down below. If you do not have one, that is totally okay. Just go ahead and message us on YouTube and we will get you your package. But for this week's giveaway, we are gonna go ahead and do these two items. The first one being another set of these Danielle um, Creations Shape and Contour Brushes. We talked about these, I've done this in the giveaway before. Um, I've used these before. I really, really like them, this specific brand as well. Um, these are really good for like creams, you know, nose contour, concealer, foundation, but they're also good for powder as well. And then this also is the Strobe and Glow by Academy of Color. It is a four pan highlighter set. There's like a really light, a few golds, and a little bit more of a pink shimmer. Um, I have another one of this of my own, and all of the shades are extremely beautiful and really, really pigmented. So I'm excited to give this away as well. So as normal for the giveaways, go ahead and leave a like, a subscribe, subscribe to us, and comment down below that you watched the video. Make sure your YouTube profile is on public, because if it is not, I will not be able to see you on my subscriber list, and therefore you cannot be entered. So go ahead and do those three quick, easy steps, and you will be automatically entered into this week's giveaway. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this full face of using only e.l.f. Again, I think it's really, really pretty, and I'm excited we got to do this look, and I got some new makeup out of it. So go ahead and stay tuned for next week's video, but otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.